Hey YouTube, it's Veronica. It's the 18th of April 2020. What a year, eh? How's your lockdown? Oh my god. It's really hard, isn't it? Shocking. I'm actually finding it a whole lot harder than I thought I would. I thought I was well versed in uh, self isolation, but clearly I'm not. Hey ho, another three weeks. Absolute bloody torture. I guess I'm lucky, really. You know, I'm work. You know, I'm on full pay. I'm working from home. Uh, you know, I'm not working in one of the critical care industries, putting my life at risk. But I am doing some good stuff, doing loads of Samaritan shifts. Um, I was just looking at my calendar, my wall calendar for April. It's like, right, one, two, three, four, five friends' birthdays this month. So they've had their birthdays in lockdown, bless them. Um, nail appointment cancelled. I've got nails like Cruella de Vil. Just waiting to break one and then I'll have to get rid of them all. Um, eyebrows, I'm trying to manage those on my own. Not too bad at the moment. Um, I did have a hair appointment today, that's my biggest worry. I don't know if you ever saw my video on uh, how I got my hair sorted, but if you did, you'll realise it's a system. It's so an interlace weave system and it has to be adjusted every seven weeks and that was today. So I'm going to have to go at least 10 weeks before I can get it adjusted which means the system's going to be not as tight to my head as it ordinarily is. I mean my own hair would hold it in place but you know, uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. And uh, just loads of Samaritan shifts, one this morning at five o'clock, which is why I have a face on because even though I went out of the house at five o'clock and there was nobody else there, uh, I put a face on because I could. Yeah, it's really hard, really hard. I volunteered for this NHS thing. I don't know if anybody else did, but I haven't heard anything yet from them. And I also volunteered for a local charity called Portsmouth Hive. Uh, doing a similar sort of thing, you know, prescription runs uh, uh, and even supporting in care homes, which I'd love to do. Uh, maybe going in to feed people or just, just to talk to them and, you know... Uh, and I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from them. That looks more po more likely. So I might get some time at the weekends in, in a care home locally, which would be really nice. I've always wanted to do that. And, you know, I always used to go and see my mum when she was in a care home. So I sort of know how they operate. And, uh, and those pe poor people in there are really struggling at the moment. And the poor carers, you know, must be worked off their feet and at risk and all of those scary things so if I can do more good I think I will uh, yeah when I get why we're still on lockdown it's right that we're still on lockdown what scares me is even in three weeks time they're not going to have a cure they're not going to have a vaccine so all they're doing is kicking the can down the road really and I'm not blaming anybody but they're, they're kicking the can down the road until such time as the vaccine does um, appear and then then we'll be back to what we thought was normal although there are some positives that have come out of lockdown that I hope do not revert back to type. 
when uh, when it's when it's all over. You know, as a society, I think we're much more caring. We're much more aware of our surroundings. You know, we're we're more patient. We're polite. Excusing the initial uh, panic buying fiasco. Um, Yeah, and you know, we recognise people now that add value in our lives and they're not the people that get paid all the money. Um, so, you know, maybe those nurses, those carers, those supermarket workers, those essential people that help us function, you know, the rest of us help us function. Let's hope they get recognised out of all of this. You know, get paid more. There's got to be a rebalancing. It's a socialist in me. There's got to be a rebalancing. Who's drinking more wine? That's what I want to know. I'm drinking it like it's going out of fashion. It's only bloody half past one in the afternoon and I'm drinking wine. What's that all about? Yeah, <laughs> we'll get through this. We'll get it done. But it is scary, very scary. I still don't know anybody directly who has the virus. I mean, I know of people who know people, but that's about as close as it gets to me. Mm. Everybody I talk to seems to know somebody who's got it, but just not me. Maybe I just don't know many people. Anyway. That'll do. I'm going to watch some telly. You take care. Bye.